From the Fox 26 studios, this is Houston's Morning Show. Facebook says it could be getting rid of like counts, but is the move really for your well-being? We're going to ask our tech expert all about it next. Earlier this week, we learned Facebook is considering testing the removal of like counts. Could it really be to combat compare culture or is there something else going on here? Here to talk more about this is tech expert Nick Walney. Instagram also looking into this and, and already testing it in other countries. Right. First of all, I have to ask you, as a tech expert, why do you think they're doing it? Well, I think a big reason is that there is conversation around, uh, you know, mental health, mm -hmm. um, people having concerns about that there's an increasing number of studies that, do they care about it that, that, I don't think they actually do at the okay. end of the day and it's you have to think about that it's a publicly traded company and how Facebook which owns Instagram um, how they make money is that people spend more and more time on their platforms more time on platforms means more ads are running means they're making more money mm -hmm. so while there you know there's lots of conversation about people's mental health and you know time on social media because you're and I accidentally interrupted you you were saying studies show that that it does mm -hmm. cause mental health health problems, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And or, or I mean it shows that, the, that it increases. Depression increases, especially when our teenagers are on social media because they're comparing themselves. Right, exactly. They're trying to get those likes. Yeah. And they're devastated when they don't. Exactly. And a big issue is that um, you know, the platforms were designed to be addictive. Mm -hmm. When Facebook introduced the like button in 2009, 10 years ago, they used the same psychology that is used to design slot machines. Mm -hmm. So they really designed it to be as addictive as possible because again more time on platform will be you know equal more money and more profitability um, but the flip side of that is that now we're you have our our youth mm -hmm. you have the next generation like looking to get as many likes as possible using the amount of likes that they're getting on posts to really you know indicate how good the post was and when the post is you know a photo of your of yourself that that can be really damaging how intriguing that there was psychology behind all of this to, to make it addictive for us mm -hmm. I think that's so intriguing and yep. scary all wrapped up <laughs> in one. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about how much time people are using on these social media platforms. Quite a bit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's been rising every year. It's started to level off, but mm -hmm. for Facebook and Instagram, it hovers around 40 to 42 minutes a day. So if you're someone who is saying to yourself, gosh, I just don't like being on Facebook. Why have I logged in for the 50th time today? Mm -hmm. That is why. It's been steadily rising. Um, so a couple of things you can do to kind of mitigate that. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, it's a scary move, but uh, for your mobile device, you can delete the app uh, and that can kind of help you know to mm -hmm. um, cut the cord a little bit mm -hmm. in terms of checking all day long uh, and then for desktop users if you're at your computer a extension that I really like and use personally it's called kill news feed it's kind of a scary name but it will block just the news feed on your Facebook mm -hmm. profile and so that's nice if you want to go in and maybe maybe you get messages from friends or you want to keep in touch with people maybe pop into some certain Facebook groups that mm -hmm. you like to be a part of but you easily get sucked in to again this addictive comparing mm -hmm. scroll uh, and go down a rabbit hole that can be a good way to mitigate that. okay so let's say that they decide okay it's working in other countries we're going to stop the likes. How will you know if, if anybody's even looking at your pictures? Will you still be able to see it and nobody else will? It's a good question. So you, the answer is yes. You will be able to see your own like counts. Mm -hmm. And so that's another reason that um, tech experts kind of have a question mark over their heads mm -hmm. as to whether this is really about mental health because you as the user mm -hmm. are still going to be able to see your numbers, so to speak. It's more so that other people will not be able to necessarily see the performance right. of a given post. Yeah. It doesn't seem like that helps you much. If you get one like, you're still not probably feeling yeah, too good about yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, You'll be thinking about it, and you know, maybe there, maybe it might be you know lessened because other people right. aren't seeing that. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, I think that there are some other motivators. Well, in after play here. this conversation, I'm going to have to agree with you. <laughs> All right. Well, it's always good to hear from you and understand what's going on mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Mike, you always get a lot of likes, buddy. You're all good. Yeah, but now <laughs> you won't know. That's right. right. <laughs> Nobody will know.